Welcome to this .CMS website training for how to create a copy of an event. This is the short version walkthrough. There was also a long version walkthrough. The short version will walk you through how to change the title, the URL title, the start and end dates. If your event has additional fields that require changes, then you're going to want to watch the long version of this particular video. Once you've logged in to .CMS, you're going to select for the content tab and click search. And then from the type dropdown, you're going to select event. And if your event uh, that you want to make a copy of doesn't just show up um, in the main matching results here, then you can always type into search to find that. One thing you want to pay attention to is whether your event is published or unpublished. It is highly recommended that you start with your event that you want to create a copy of from an unpublished state. So for example, this event is showing as live with a green circle with a check mark, and this particular event is showing as unpublished as an orange circle. If you make a copy of an event that is published, it will automatically publish the copy of the event at the same time. So that's why it's recommended that you start from an unpublished state. All right, so if I wanna search for my event, um, if it doesn't pop up in the matching results, I can type in the name of it. And then once I locate that event, I'm just gonna right click on the name of it and select the copy option. It says workflow executed. Here's my original event. And now here's my copied event showing um, evidence in the URL title with this additional copy and uh, numbers that goes along in that field. So now I wanna make edits to this event. So I'm going to select the name of it to open up the event dashboard. The first thing you're going to do is select for lock for editing. Next, you're going to make the changes to those four fields that I mentioned previously, title, URL title, start date, and end date. All right, so in the title field, you can do one of two things. You can keep the name the same. Um, maybe your event is taking place on April 30th, so you can add in that information, or maybe your event title is something completely different, in which case you can call it new test event. Next is one of the most important things you're gonna to need to do with this um, particular uh, action, and that is you need to create a unique URL title. Right now, this is a copy of an event that is already published in the system and it already has this particular URL existing and you need to make a brand new URL. Otherwise, you're gonna receive an error when you attempt to publish this that says an our event already exists in the system with that URL. So you're going to copy the, or highlight the copy information including the extra space after that URL title and select um, backspace or delete, and that will remove that copy information from the field. Now we need to make it unique, and you can again do that in a couple of ways. One, if you have completely renamed your event, you can just type in new hyphen and then keep the URL the same. Now, it's important when you're doing URL titles to make sure that you don't include any spaces between any of the new words or characters that you add into this field. Everything needs to be delineated. That was a space with a hyphen. So you'll see your new hyphen, test event, has a hyphen in between it, that kind of thing. So no spaces in your URL title or you'll also receive an error. Now in the instance where it was test event, April 30th, then you would need to remove the first part, put a hyphen, April 30. And so those are the two ways you can do your URL title dependent upon the name of your event, that title field. Next, you need to scroll down until you get to the start date. You're going to select for that start date. So we said April 30. We're going to select for April 30th. And then the end date, this one went into 2021. So we need to select for 2020. And then April 30th, because my event is a one day event. Now those are the only changes that I needed to make. So now I can save my draft. I can check links or I can publish. Check links 
Um, you're not going to need to do in this instance because you haven't made any other text changes, so it would literally be published to push it live. And that's how you publish an edited copied event.